State government has earmarked rupees 2 crore for development of shrine of deities at Anal Kulan village in Chandil district. Demonetization has checked terrorist funding and black money, says Chief Minister Enbirin. And 2016 police constable candidates call bun and blockade from November 10 to November 13. Hello and welcome to ISTV English News. I'm Kishore Chandra Wankimcha with the news in details. Manipur state government has earmarked a sum of rupees 2 crore for development of shrine of Ibudho Wangren and his wife, Shangnu Shangre, located at Anal Kulil village. Sources told ISTV News that the decision was taken after considering a memorandum submitted by Anal Naga Tangpi to develop the shrine that reflects the age old relationship between Maite and Anal during the Chief Minister's visit to, to Chandil district for cabinet meeting on November 4. Mention may be made that the Chief Minister's visit was warmly accorded by thousands of people of Chandil at Maha Union Ground. Anal Naga Tangpi recalled the historic tale of Ibudho Wangbrand, who married an Anal lady, Shangnu Shangre, who became his wife, and urged the government to develop a shrine. Sources also added that the government have already earmarked rupees 30 crore for the development of around 30 religious shrines, including Kobru and Tangjing. On the other hand, Chief Minister N. Biren told that the warm reception accorded to him and his cabinet colleagues and MLAs during the Chandal visit is a clear sign of closeness between the hills and the valley. Mention may be made that around 10 gates welcoming the Chief Minister were put up from Palil to Chandal and around 10,000 people attended the reception held at Maha Union Ground. Gifts were also presented and memorandums were submitted to the Chief Minister highlighting the grievances of the people of the district. Bharatiya Janata Yuva Morcha Manipur Pradesh organized Yuva Samilant on demonetization and GST. Chief Minister N. Biren said, black money and funding on terrorism have been checked. The Samilan was held at the community hall of Lining Thau Pangalba in Imphal East District. Minister of Work, Stage Biswajit, MLA and members of BJP attended the Samilan. Chief Minister further said, considering the hardship faced by the poorer sections of the society, the India government led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi has taken up measures of demonetization and GST. The GST has been able to reduce the various taxes. Black money stored by some people has been checked by demonetization. In Manipur too, the government has been taking up various developmental works for the welfare of the people. Developmental works to be taken up in the hill districts have been listed out by the government, which will be initiated very soon. The government will not regret the future impact from failure to perform the developmental works within the given stipulated time. He said, people welcoming the chief minister in hill districts is a good achievement of the government. The BJP government has been putting its best effort to unite Manipur, which has been fallen into pieces earlier. But some vested interests are still trying to take undue political advantage. Terming their intentions as jealousy to the government, some are paying attention to talk ill of the present government, whereas they have forgotten to protect the state while in power. People must not believe the political party which is full of scandal, the chief minister added. <laughs> Zahi trangwa kun kun sa palakudu ka kampiata rodi tha taru kaise mami tambudang ayri kari kuno siyam na pakhali se lai raba nungai hangi ka tori koi di yum lai taba yum sa ka tori ana balayeng mangam taba layeng ba layeng na ba pa sapi ka tori koi kanalai se taba soinai raba sing pencil pangan ka tori ahal wai raba wai raba sing pencil beng ka salaga lepam buda koi di thong thong ka salaga pa sa pangan ka tori <laughs> JSC formed against the failure of the government to declare the results of Manipur Police Constable 2016 recruitment test has called statewide bond an economic blockade from November 10 to 13. The bond and blockade have been called because of the failure of the government to announce the results. The decision to launch the agitation was announced by the JSC at a press meet held at Manipur Press Club today. General Secretary of the JC, Mani Chandra Chandam, said repeated appeals have been made to the government to declare the results. Stipulated uh, time period was also given till November 4. Moreover, efforts were even made to meet the Chief Minister in connection with the matter 
but in vain. Therefore, the ban will be imposed from 5 a.m. of November 10 till 5 p.m. of November 13. Dead for Pomonung, the Tabuxi, Hidopi, and Akoi, the line has a kimmy, Adubu, Akoi, Gomengi, I think, a simple response from Lakrabna, Lakliban, the memory, dead Tengi, Ayupunga, Yoga, Matangi, Numun, you and the Koi, dead Hatangi, Pumanga, Pawa, Numdangi, Shiba Wakoi, Ban Blocker, Natsimba, Akanbokongang, Singi, still now Singiga, Kusam Naga, Kosanga, Nehavi, Kosi, Media, Manga, Pondoxari. On the other hand, DPC a completed candidates of re-recruitment police constable batch 2013 has cautioned of launching intense form of agitation if the government fails to announce the result on or before November 15. Speaking to me, their person at Money Per Press Club, spokesperson of JC Valley and Toiba said, a memorandum has been submitted to the Chief Minister today. Statement of Deputy Chief Minister is baseless and highly condemnable, they added. Atu Matamda, Akogi, police constable, re recruitment, Sasi, Hydok Tragadi, Kogi, candidate, Mio Lissing Nipan, Gimatata, Labour Kinesing Asigi, Sahi Hen Giva, Amadi Esbar Oiva, Sahi Manga, Ashibana Pankak Oiva, Awa Abana, Saruk Oduna Laglava, Kinesing Asigi, Compensation, Gomen Asina, even three. Mohammad Zabir Khan, aged 24, from Lilong Kuno, under Tawal district, has made everyone dumbfounded when he pulled an auto car and a gypsy by his uh, mouth using a rope. Zabir Khan stated that he would work hard and try for Guinness World Records. He also added that he came to know about the unique power and skill recently when he had to unmask a coconut with his teeth. He practiced lifting a cycle using his mouth initially and attempted the feed today. Residents today block the Imphalu Cruel Road from Kurai Popular High School to Chaitabi Lerak after the authority concerned failed to take up any substantial measures in accordance with the promises of addressing various issues that were made before Manipur general election. Residents lambasted that condition of roads under Kurai Assembly constituency are in deplorable condition and alleged the representative of the constituency of turning blind eye. The condition of the roads worsened during rainy season. Residents also added that both the incumbent MLA and a former MLA of Kurai Assembly constituency will be boycotted and will continue to block the road unless it is repaired. <laughs> Additional Chief Engineer 1 in charge of National Highway and Building Nomaitem Noren Singh speaking to media person said the potholes along Tidim Road will be filled within November 15 ahead of the upcoming Sangai Festival on November 21. Speaking to media person at a press meet held at his office, he further said even though the rain has caused the delay in maintenance work, filling up of uh, potholes has begun in full swing along the main roads. The department has been making all out effort to make convenient for the commuters. Meanwhile, he expressed resentment over the news published in media of around 20,000 potholes along the road from Imphal to Kaibulam Jau. Appreciating the works taken up by the engineers during the recent landslide along Imphal Mao due to heavy rainfall, all possible effort have been made to complete filling up of potholes along Imphal Mao Road within two to three months. Effort have also been made to turn the Lokchau Bridge, which has been in existence before World War, into RCC Bridge. Sarabagalun 
বিশ্বপুর মখা চথবদ মেলি আদুব মাম উবিরমনি নাইসিল হাবে না পুজারি মোরাম লমখাই হাই তারে মোরাম লমখাই কেবু লম চলি কেবু লম চলু আতোপ ডিভিজন বিশ্বপুর ডিভিজন পুঘ্রে মদমি হাইন পোরহোস তৌদ্রে কমজাউরে হ্যাঁ ইবিরপি আখমাই উইজে হাইবু আইনত তৌদবি এখন নেগেটিভ ক্রিটিসিজম উবিহব এখন তৌজরি আফব থাকি কেন উৎপিদব সুমাইন তৌবি আখি ইঞ্জিনিয়ারিংহনব প্রজাশন মমান ইকাই পিব আসুম মহংসে এই ডিপার্টমেন্ট মহৎ সিনজর নাইব ফাউি আই তুম চাব খাদন আহিং নাইব থাক সুজরিবেন Minister of Forest and Environment T.H. Sham Kumar today said a equal treatment will be given to the departments responsible for bringing development in the state. He was speaking at the One Day Awareness Campaign on Handloom and Handicrafts Delivery and Mudra Loan Scheme held at Lai Manai Multipurpose Hall, Yadipok. The program was organized by District Handloom and Textile in Fall East. Project Manager of the District Handloom and Handicrafts in Fall East, P. Manikumari, Managing Director of UBI in Fall East and Ukrul District. Saikai Singshit, Jilla Parishit member of Tuli Hill, K. Inaucha and Pradhan of Top Ching Thal Gram Panchayat, Wai Tomba attended the program. Minister Sham Kumar distributed identity cards to women of Andro Assembly constituency. Andro area still being backward in the field of economy, steps will be taken up to develop the economy. People will be provided benefits from the departments to bring equal development, he added. সেচন মামি সেমিল ফদ্রগে কই লাই চাকরপাদেস পিবসে মামা চান চান সিনফ মাম আপনি ফি সাব খাক নতুন মদল ইম্ফাল স্পেশালি ফর আন্দ্র কেন্দ্র সবসিডি যাব গ্রান যাব আদি নতুন কই ডাইরেক্ট লোল হয়ে না পিবি স্কিম এওয়ারনেস প্রোগ্রাম কই তোমান তোমান বেঙ্গি আদি ডিস্ট্রিক্ট অফিসার যাওয়ার কে পাত এওয়ারনেস নি Special Handloom Expo 2017 has begun at JM Hall Complex. The expo was organized as part of National Handloom Development Program under the Ministry of Handloom and Textiles, which will be continued till 2017. Chairman of Manipur Handloom and Handicraft Development Corporation, S. Rajan, General Manager, Director E. Jiten, Director K. Lamli Kamai, and Weaver's Service Center Manipur in charge, Ministry of Textiles, C. Radha Shekhar, were the main guests at the inaugural function. Director K. Lamli Kamai said the government has been trying its best level to reduce the hardship faced by the weavers. Efforts are being made to provide loan and weaving materials to promote handloom sector. S. Razin said importation of eatable items as well as clothing have reduced the increment in the state's economy. Development will be brought when handloom is developed. Government has started taking up various measures to promote handlooms of the state. ไอ้ควยมาร์เก็ตตะปุโทตะนโยตรกะสุไอ้ควยนะลอกชั่นบาลเลยนะนะไดริบะดิปาร์ตเมนต์ซิกสเตทไดมิชั่นละกะมณี
vaccine is preventable disease. Now, some of the six to eight percent have six to eight times the when the Sibagi chance lay, as in the couple of the D, fully couple of the D, Aduga, Quigi, Karima Paragosu, Quigi, the Siduri, Pierre Macon, Quig, Singo, Papa, Alansi, he played the center of the Brady, I could have given the law, Napo, the son of the Napoita, and the law, Karam, the son of the Quigi, the Terea, who was in the son of the Napoli, heart disease, the Basmaton, Motel Kiagi, Nayosin, the Singapore, and the Quinanas, the sea. Manipur Students Federation MSF has expressed unhappiness over destroying of properties and important documents in the office. The Federation has warned those involved in this incident to explain the reason for causing the damage. Besides, 3 lakhs rupees donated to MSF has been stolen from the cupboard too. Terming the incident as cowardly act, MSF questioned as to why the case had destroyed its office. Case should clarify and replace the property at the earliest. Instead of bringing a solution for the argument between the college students in connection with the college election, biases shown by MSF shows that MSF is not fit to be an organization. An organization should not form a gang and should follow the ethics of becoming an organization. Meanwhile, Kanglai Park Students Association alleged that a team of Manipuri Students Federation led by its vice president last night around 1 burned a Pulsar motorbike that belonged to a member of KSA parked in front of the KSA office. Condemning the incident, General Secretary of KSA S. Bidyananda said the CCTV footage of the whole incident was available, stating that such unethical act of some indisciplined students leader will tarnish the students organization. S. Bidyananda added that four members of MSF were napped but two were later released because of their innocence in the incident. Two MSF members, one who was involved in barging in KSA office on November 4 and other who was involved in burning the motorbike will be handed over to police. S. Bidyananda also stated that blame game and violence will never serve the purpose in bringing an amicable solution to any issue. Head of Piskim among the Kamduna Tamba, Kesiki Tomi, Yamaki Gari, Asi, Mai Tadok Lamle, Asikumba, Tongasi, Amese Kumba, Mahiru, Lu Amana, Miam Giseva, Tongi, and Lady, but Lu Amana Satara Privacy, Quite the Gi, Live Tivani, Amese Ki, Lady Alaman Singa Matang Matamsana, what in Behogravati, Lu Asimiam Hena, Kosana, Paula Pokalunana, Masina, Lamda Masida, Nium, Sumna Tok Tokiva, Mahiru Lubsumbo, Santana Magimasa, Amo Ohele, I Bohom Domaki, Seki, Maki, the Gi Tamjari. And time now for a short break. We'll be back right. Swiss rolls with exotic fillings from Winkies, the cake specialist. Swiss rolls with exotic fillings from Winkies, the cake specialist. Welcome back. Former MLA of Kondosum Assembly Constituency, K. Sarat, today welcome and felicitated the successful candidates of Jila Parishad members, Pradhan, Upper Pradhan and Ward members of Kondosum Assembly Constituency. Member of Lok Sabha, Dr. T. H. Maina, President of Kondosum Block Congress Committee and Toiba, among others, attended the felicitation. Speaking on occasion, K. Sarat urged the authority concerned to provide cards under National Food Security Act to those who were left out at the earliest. K. Sarat also appealed to the successful candidates in the 5th General Panchayat election to sincerely work for the welfare of the people.
sensitization program of various schemes under the Department of Agriculture organized by District Agriculture Officer Imphal East and Nongpok Imphal Lomi Sinmi Apunbalub was held today at Lamboy Kul Iraima Laibong in Imphal East. Additional Director Agriculture K. H. Mohendro, Zilla Parisat Member of Dolai Thabi ZP, Ningtao Kongjum Sanatomba attended the program as main guests. Speaking on occasion, Ningtao Kongjum Sanatomba said measures will be taken up to enable farmers to cultivate crops throughout the year. He also added that the ability to use fields for cultivation of other crops after harvest can boost the social economy of the farmers. <laughs> Website of Tantra Hotel www.tantraboutiquehotel.com was launched by the president of ISTV Network P. Profulo at the conference room of the hotel at Chenim Skate. President of Citizen Club Oinam Priyo Kumar attended the program. President of ISTV Network Profulo opined that launching of such website will benefit the tourists visiting the state. <laughs> Application number can be by Yabra, a way Kanaba di Kanabi Rangani, a quick place store, the Galabiaba, a quick Epsom Hotel Zimatanga. And so that I quit the Jangster and Anxin China, which did the Magi smartphone caricature. The Luria Sagia, a quick Ola, Nun Kande, Makande, Lui Labina, Epsom Yamukitan Larapai, a website city particular, Kanojagadum Sanga, Tibudunia, do a place store, the direct Pangan Bayaba, do a Hotel Zimatanga, about hotel place, the first day that our Sanga Sagi will get on Tragi Kenosa. Meanwhile, a president of Citizens Club, Oenam Priyo Kumar, drew the attention of the authority concerned to develop safer places to hold nights in remote areas during the Sangai Festival. ตัวอีอดุบุเพนะเจอเคยกีทูริสต์สปอร์ตซิงยามตระบดาเคยกีกักจิงกีอะตะกีมวยรางไฮบงบะฟุนซิงซีเจอเคยโฮเทลซีอ
A one-day awareness come training program for tailors was held today at the community hall of uh, Kongman Zone 1. The program was organized by Thongju Kendra Women Development Labor Union under the supervision of Labor Department of Manipur and Manipur Building and Other Construction Workers Welfare Board. DC Imphal East, TH Chitra Devi, Chairperson of Manipur Building and Other Construction Workers Welfare Board, S. Prashojit Sharma, Ex-Minister S. Brajakal. Rajagopal Sharma and retired professor of RIMS, Dr. C.H. Manglem were the main guests at the inaugural function. President of Thongju Kendra Women Development Union, Ahong Sangbam Pramodini Devi said the training program was organized for the members of the union with an aim to improve economy through self-employment. <laughs> Chani Lok Taraga, Equina, Equina Sigi, training a si, how to pogi program when a si, and talks about Hibatari. Aduna Maram Wenakanda, Equigi, Kongwangi, Nubisingi, Kutana Siemba, Pangantana Siemba, Lever Hibatabak Ado, Nasidagi Haurani, Hibagi Port Pam Dumaka, Nasitam Java. All Manipur Working Journalists Union, AMZU and Police Department jointly conducted a cleanliness drive in and around Major Cool and Manipur Press Club today. President of AMZU, Wankimcha Samjai, said the cleanliness drive was jointly organized by Police Department and All Manipur Working Journalists Union with an aim to keep Imphal City neat and clean. <laughs> and now a quick recap of the headlines once again. State government has earmarked rupees two crore for development of shrine of deities at Anal Kulen village in Chandil district. Demonetization has checked terrorist funding and black money, says the Chief Minister N. Birin. And 2016 police constable candidates called bund and blockade from November 10 to November 13. And that's all we have in this session of the News Bulletin. Thank you for watching ISTV News. Bye-bye.